Hi everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen and... Hi everyone, my name's Paul and welcome to Malaga! Cake flicks! <laughs> Cake flicks! <laughs> what are you doing? I don't he's know. so happy he's in Malaga. <laughs> he's being cake flicks. No, I felt like I was on the Eurovision Song Contest. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> so, hi everyone, my name is Carol McFarland. We're over in Malaga tonight and we are in Paul Bradford's studio. We like coming here. Bear in mind, he never wants to come to the UK and see us in Stockport. But so, it's and, too cold. <laughs> and Laura and Maria are always happy to come over here, aren't you, girls? Absolutely. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, the weather is absolutely fantastic here in April. And if you're wondering what these things are, I have been on a course with Paul. How fabulous are these? So, these are your kids. They are. Yeah. So last July, was it last July I came up to see you originally? It wasn't that long. Was that, was that I think it was last July. Right, right. So last July I popped up with some friends to see David and Paul. Oh, by the way, David, are you with us? I am. Is Kate Flicks people with us? Uh, we are on Facebook. We've got a problem on the site. All right. Okay. Okay, Facebookers. <laughs> Kate <laughs> Flicks, where are they? Where's your cameras? I have no idea. <laughs> that one there. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in it. One, two, three, four. Five, seven, seven cameras. Oh my seven God, cameras. where are we looking? <laughs> Should we just look at each other? <laughs> <laughs> so, hi Cape Flicks people. So I popped over in July to see Paul, came over with some friends, just gonna pop up for a coffee and ask him would he consider doing a Facebook Live. These two guys are amazing. They put on a full spread and we're here for about four hours, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we'll be <laughs> and Paul had just made his version of these and I went, oh my God. Oh my God, I want to come on a class, I want to come on a class. He took it to Australia first. But never mind, they, we're they, here now. They were the guinea pigs. They were the guinea pigs. Sorry, Australia. <laughs> <laughs> but he's here now and uh, we, did the, we did the classes this weekend with three other fabulous ladies. Um, Molly. Molly, Zoe and Karen. Hi, Karen. And they actually, okay. and most of the last two are actually, okay, Zoe and Karen are actually on their flight just now. Yes. Back, yeah. 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 So they're on the eight o'clock flight, yeah. so they're half well, quarter of the way along, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So hello girls, you'll see us tomorrow. <laughs> so we made these, they were amazing. We did one day for this, which we did first, and then we did this, and Paul said we're doing this on Sunday because this is so much easier. <laughs> I don't know which was which, but we spent a lot of time with Paul. I think David thought we was gonna stay over. It was, it was a long, 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 long day. So I think I think I got to bed about two o'clock on Saturday yeah. uh, because I also had to flip the room for the next class. So it was a little bit of a, a long one. You didn't see much sunshine, I think, over the last I two I didn't days. see anything. Yeah. didn't see anything at all. It was a nine till seven class. It ended up being a, like a nine till God knows when. But anyhow, we survived. Yeah. And we're here today, all bright and cheerful. Maria, Laura and I have been out and had a look around at the country scenes just to give Paul a little bit of time. And then we've come, we've ended up with every sort of problem on our way back tonight. I think we've missed a dog, a cat, a bus and anything else that could have possibly have got in our way, including a road that the bridge was up. If somebody didn't <laughs> manage to tell us about that one, yeah, yeah. <laughs> after he sent us to the supermarket. So I just thought I'd show you these. Are they amazing? What do you think? Massive thumbs up. Yeah, Brilliant right. audience. Is that good? I think it was this. Karen McFarlane's on. <laughs> 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 I'll just go. Bye. <laughs> just because we've got a handsome bloke in the kitchen doesn't mean you have to be here watching for him. <laughs> oh, I, think, I think you've done a great job. I love how they, they went for the brand's colours. Have you noticed that? Of course. She, she was trying to go for pinks on these ones. Come on. Like, come on. And I was like, come on. You can get a pink hippo and that's as far that's as you <laughs> want. I was going to get that. A pink mane on the line. <laughs> It probably is true actually, I'm sure there's a few pink lines Absolutely. Yeah. So he did give us a choice of colours and this was my colour theme. So anyhow, we've got a lot to do today. Okay, so Paul is going to make you a cute dinosaur. I've been calling him a cute dragon all day and he's been looking at me straight, really strangely. Yeah, it looks like a dinosaur, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to turn into something amazing. Okay, so he's going to make that today. And I said to Paul last time he was here that I would come back and do something with nifty nozzles for you. So Paul is actually very kindly, because I couldn't bake. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have picked that up. No. He's very <laughs> kindly. Okay. Put these together for me, I'll let you know later. Yeah. So he was laughing because he's done five one side, and see that big giant one? Yeah. He said, I thought I'd give you the special one. <laughs> well, I'm gonna turn the tables around. That one's yours. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing that for you, Yeah, right. <laughs> but as long as 
I get to eat that one. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I so, think they're going to fall over when you put oh, no. <laughs> the cones are too big for the stands. <laughs> yeah. yeah, these are not English cones, these are Spanish cones. <laughs> so it might be bigger than ours. So, Maria, I think we need your assistance as well. Come on in, Maria. Yeah. Can you believe it? Maria is not going to jump around. She's in a native, well, it's not your town, but you're in your own country, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. And um, I gave her a saying today, because she's only here for a short visit. I said, I bet her family misses her because she's so near but so far. And she'd never heard that saying before. Oh, yeah. So that, oh, that's, there you go. Something you like here. it, don't you? I do like it, yes. Yeah. Where, where so, is your family? Where, where, Seville. Seville? Oh, oh, yeah, it's quite far away. Yeah. So yeah, I said, but you're so near because she's over the water. She's <laughs> in Spain, but she's so far. Great. Oh, there you go. Do you want this? And Maria, Super. do they sound different down here, the Spanish? Sorry? Is the accent sound a little bit different? It is. <laughs> <laughs> say, say no more. <laughs> no, say no more. You know, there's Manchester and Cheshire. <laughs> yeah, that's very similar, isn't it? Yeah. It's that type of conversation. <laughs> right then. So, David, how is your audience doing on uh, Facebook? Uh, no, I've managed to break it. No, oh, we're, we're, not, we're not on Facebook either. Not, no, I'm trying to restart it all. Should we just keep on going, do you think? Yeah. Should we keep going? Keep going. Right, guys. Well, there's no point in talking to Kate Blix. We'll let Paul, uh, David will let us know when we're back. So we're over here, which is brilliant. So I'm going to move these out the way and get uh, let Paul get on with his demo. If you hear a load of noise over here, it's because I'm getting my bags ready and my buttercream ready. And basically, I'm going to be Paul's pain in the butt. <laughs> but, oh, yes. Laura's going, say hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. So Laura, come on, do your magic. Come on, we've got to say hi to our fantastic audience. We've got a really, really good audience and it's growing every second. Um, loads of people saying hi Paul, thanks for coming back. Yeah, what about hi Carol? Of course it's hi Carol, of course that's what they're tuning in for, you should run crumbs. But I'm very pleased to see Paul back in the kitchen. That's a um, pleasure. We've got lots of people saying please come over to stop Paul. Yes! <laughs> We're so glad to come in. To do a class, this what? one. Yeah. What do you want, dragon class or this one? We're still trying to convince him. No, we'll do a new class. Yeah. New yeah. class. Yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, there's, there's some fantastic comments already, just lots of highs and positive comments. Um, so just to quickly run through, anyone who misses any of the Facebook Live or can't tune in for the whole session, you can watch everything back once we've finished. It will be pinned to the top of our Facebook page. It will also get transferred over to YouTube when we've finished. It's normally by midweek, but you'll have to give a chance to get back from here. Um, but the one minute videos will also get transferred over there as well. So if you are new to the group and it's the first time you've watched us, You'll see Maria hovering around the kitchen and Maria films all the best bits and squishes them into these great one minute videos. So they're also available on YouTube. Anything that's being used tonight, like the Wilton Ice Cream stand cone, uh, cone stand that you can see, the gel colours and things like that are all available to buy from Sugar and Crumbs. So the website is sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. So you can either search by brand, use the search bar at the top of the website, or if you head over to the right hand side, there's a Facebook Live wish list and all you need to do is drop down into April and find Paul's name and you'll see everything there for you so it's nice and easy. Um, it's going to be pretty difficult to read all the comments and questions out tonight just because we've got such a huge audience and obviously we're doing this in conjunction with Kate Flicks so we don't want to take away any questions and comments from the Kate Flicks side. Um, but we will try and cover anything that we do miss um, and I know Paul's fantastic in going through everything as well once we've finished and if there is anything that we've missed we will try and answer it um, either tomorrow or Wednesday for you so sit back and enjoy well done Laura well done and just to say to the Cake Flicks audience apologies but that's our, our cranky oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. okay. it's not has it oh. <laughs> Is that a swim word there? I thought I heard a swim word there. Dude! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's over, it's, out, it's gone nine here in Spain. Anyhow, by the way, we're out an hour ahead. It's ten past yes. nine. Yeah. So what I was going to say was, what have you got to say about Kate Flips? Well, I got to say about Kate Flips. Well, let's tell them, because let's tell our lovely audience. When, you, when we was in Paul's Kitchen last time, we wanted you to pop over and like Paul's page, which is called Kate Flips. He's going to tell you a little bit more about that. We do very similar things, but completely different. So if you're looking for professionalism, then you've got to look at this handsome man. He is amazing. The skills that he can show you is amazing. I can't say anything else than that. Totally professional. 
really nice, handsome to look at as well. Not often we get a man, so we may as well smother him with compliments. What do you no, think? Is he good looking? <laughs> eh? Is he good looking? Is he good looking, Laura? Lots of thumbs up from this side, anyway. Yeah, he's good looking, isn't he? I think love hearts as well. What do you think, Ray? I think he's good looking, don't you? Well, enough, right. enough, enough. Yes. <laughs> David's all right. Good face for radio. <laughs> so, anyhow, so um, I forgot where we were talking about. Yes, right, yeah, yeah. So, Cake Flicks. So, I'm going to get Paul to tell you about Cake Flicks and some exciting news for tonight. Oh, she's so professional. Yes. <laughs> That's something. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, so, yeah. So, Cake Flicks, if you've not heard of Cake Flicks, um, Cake Flicks is an online cake school. Uh, we've been training for. Oh, we, it's been a, a new video every week for eight years. Yeah, oh, eight years, my goodness. So we film a new, brand new tutorial every single week of the year for eight years. So that's a lot of tutorials. And tonight um, we have a very exciting new thing. It's just launched and it's our... It's our sale. Our sale. <laughs> so it is a lot. I don't know what it is, come on. <laughs> I'm going to be talking about the free section. We're going to get the free section on tonight as well. The free section started. The last yeah. 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 That's why we're the weekend. <laughs> So, right, yeah. just so we can get Paul back together again, I'll just tell you what's going on at Cake Fix. <laughs> <laughs> because we have the, the cake maker and we have the professional guy who does all the, the behind the scenes stuff, David. So I just make cakes. <laughs> <laughs> Cake Flicks have opened up a new section. Basically, they're open up a free, a free tutorial section. Are yeah. you ready? Yeah, we've got, so we've got a free section that we launched yesterday, I think. Yes. Yes. And, uh, and you don't have to enter any details in. You just go on to cakeflicks.com, type in, uh, click on cake, what's it called? Uh, free stuff. Yeah, so it's on the top menu. Yeah, free stuff. And on there, we've got lots of tutorials for free. So we've got how to make a Nash how to ice cakes, what sugar paste, what's fondant, and we've even got some guests on there as well. So that's going to be growing quite rapidly over the next couple of months. And it's just a nice, nice thing to give away, isn't it? Because there's so many people, yeah. complete beginners, and it, it seems unfair they've got to pay money to learn how to make cakes. Straight. And the thing is, Paul and David have this thing that whatever, the, whatever tutorials they've made, they're never going to throw in the bin. So basically, they've got eight years worth of... Uh, Knowledge, them. okay. <laughs> so eight years worth of knowledge, eight years worth of tutorials, and rather than have that sat there, and people just looking at all the recent stuff, they're putting all that stuff on, all the back yeah. earlier stuff for free, which means we can get to have a look at this lovely handsome man when he was younger. Eight years ago, <laughs> and, a few, and a few stone later, <laughs> and a few stone patterns sometimes as well. <laughs> you see, the, you see the face That's goes up good. and down a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, and then tonight, what well, I got wrong yeah. was um, tonight we've got our sale uh, that started tonight. Is that correct? Annual membership sale. Up and to 50%. There we go. There we go. So, up well, to 50% up of the annual membership. So, and we're going to head over to cakeflix.com. So, did you get that? So, if you want to join, the, is it the pro that it's for? The pro is 50% off and yeah. the premium is 30%. Oh, there, there you go. go. Yeah. Yeah. So, you get a massive saving. And how long is that sale put on for? It can end any time. But it's, it's when you've got enough money in the bank. Sales, That's what John does with us. When there's enough money in the bank, sales yeah, starts. It's the Easter sale. <laughs> <laughs> so get on it quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to take advantage, this is the time to take advantage. If you want a couple of days to think about it, have a look at all the free stuff and also go and look at their lives. So what's different with Sugar and Crumbs? Sugar and Crumbs offers um, free tutorials every Monday. We have done for over two years now. We'll be two and a half years old in June, offering our Facebook wow. Lives. They're completely free, but they're a different level. Ours is about bringing uh, tutors in to show you their products, to do demonstrations with their products, for me to do demonstrations with our products at Sugar and Crumbs. So ours is, it's not a hardcore selling or anything like that. It's a, a really nice soft sell to give you some ideas and some inspiration on how to use products. So Laura, is there anything you would like to say before we let Paul get on it? No, I've had to dodge quite a few of the comments because I think we just make Paul blush, to be honest. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, we like him with him blush. I mean, he's got beautiful no. red cheeks as it is. Lots of love hearts, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> but we are, there is lots of positive comments of people who have got Cake Clips membership saying it's, it's, it's worth so much worth the money, it's priceless, People don't know what they would do without it. It's fantastic to be able to go back so far. Oh, um, nice. Yeah, oh, so nice. so some great feedback. So if you are thinking about it, just look at the comments that and you know the reviews that we've had from our. And I do know last time we were here, we had loads of our audience sign up as well. So you guys who just joined in November, was it? No, when did, when did we do the live last year? Gosh, 
can't remember. It was even November. I mean, October. October. So you guys who are from Sugar and Crumbs, who signed up after the live, let everybody else know what you think as well, because I know so many of you did join and that you did really like it. So I know a lot of you signed up for the seven day free trial that you had. That's right. And then yes. you went on to buy it. <laughs> I, was thinking, I can smell burning again. Oh, <laughs> have you yeah. turned the other no, on? You, you must have switched it on again. Oh, no. It's got I a tricky I'm, knob here. I think I'm getting really hot here. here. <laughs> <laughs> the, the oven is actually here and he's got a whirly knob that if you just knock it like that, and just be careful where you stand off, it just might get it. It's, it's, keeping, like, it's keeping like an Ashley somewhere. <laughs> He's turning the oven on and we keep going really hot and really cold. And then we realise, and then we can, I can smell burning as I well. Know, so, yeah. We had a pizza for dinner, that's why. Good. Yeah. Right, I'm going to get out of the way, guys. I'm going to let Paul get on with his demo. And like I said, we'll stand over here and get the screen ready for Paul's challenge yeah. later. Oh, I don't like a challenge. <laughs> Not when it's live. <laughs> All right, so let's have a little talk about what we've got in front of me. Um, so I thought we'd do a little dino. Uh, and um, we had a one-to-one -one student that came last, was the last end, end of last year. And she came over from France. And then she wanted to do a one-to, it was it two-day one-to-ones, I think we had. Uh, and she wanted to learn to do an internal structure, uh, children's gate. So we, we designed this. So we had no idea what we were going to do when we first started. And we just Googled some images and we came up with a little design. So we did something on a much bigger scale than this. And, uh, and so what we're looking for is a, a dinosaur that's got a long, long neck with a head on it. And of course the long nail, so and the long tail. So what we've got here is a threaded rod. And it's a four mil threaded rod and a six mil threaded rod. And all I simply did was got a piece of paper and drew a little template to make the, um, the body. And the body's on a 10 mil piece of uh, plywood. And then we've got the, the legs. Now I can't remember all the sizes for the thread rod, so I'll, I'll put that down in the notes and the, the tools and ingredients list we'll do afterwards. Um, and then what we've got here is the legs again. So underneath here, so the cake doesn't fall and, and wobble wobble, uh, what I've got here is a six inch round with four holes and the nuts and the washers are underneath just so it sits nice and flush. And it gives us a really good stand. Now the problem with this one is, of course, it's not food safe because of all the wood and all the um, threaded rods. So we need to make it food safe first of all. So what I'll always recommend doing is get a little bowl like this. I've got my, my ganache uh, mixed up here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put what I call my dirty ganache. And this is the ganache that we can pop in here and we can put a little palette knife in here. If I get the right one. And we know this is the contaminated stuff, so we don't have to worry about like um, uh, sawdust and little bits of glue stuck in this one. And all I want to do is just get the, the ganache and just really just cover all over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to just pop some tin foil on here, just to um, make it food safe. Now some people like to use chocolate, they just melt down chocolate, um, like dark chocolate, and pour it over it. And the, the, the dark chocolate seals it all in, so it's rock solid and there's no cross-contamination. Um, I just like to just get the ganache, because I've got always got it in hand, and a bit of tin foil. Okay, so that's nice and easy. Uh, and I'm going to get a bit of tin foil. Okay, and all I want to do is just feed this over the top. Okay, so it drops down onto there, like so. Now, what happens is, when you do that, sometimes it can burst a little bit. So like just in the knee corners there. So if that happens, what I do is I get more tin foil, uh, more uh, ganache, sorry, and we just put another layer on and see all these little extra bits that are folded over the sides. There's so many people scared of doing structure 3D cakes. So hopefully you've just seen this. Now, what I want to talk about also is um, these come in long rods, so one meter long rods from the DIY shop, B&Q, all these kind of places, and it's like two or three pounds for a threaded rod. So you need a threaded rod, you need to buy a really cheap hacksaw, cheapest chips, and get a little vice. Now I've got a vice, I think it was, I think it was like B&M, no it wasn't, it was uh, Aldi or Lidl, and it was like five quid. So you just put your vice on the end of your table, clip this on, a little hacksaw, and just cut them to size. See, once you move over to the dark side, into the thread, threaded rods, uh, your life just becomes 3D a lot, and it's a lot easier. And the good thing is, when your customer comes to pick up the cake, you're not worrying about the cake falling over because it's rock solid inside and it looks really professional. Okay, so what we want to do now is just fold this ganache, uh, these bits of tin foil over, just, and it just ex gives us extra security and I can push that around the bottom of that threaded rod so I'm not worried about uh, any, any um, contamination. Oops, just push that over a bit more, scrunch it down and just bring it right up to the edge where possible, there we go. Look at that. 
And there we go. So that's really, really, really food safe. All right, that's good. So we've got a little over there. Now the only thing is, we're going to have some cake on there as well, aren't we? So on the, on the, did you get burnt there? Yeah. <laughs> um, so what we need to do now, before we put the tin foil in here, we've got this bit of food safe, we need to bend the shape. Now, I want to see what people think. Do you want a really, really long neck or a real, or a really short tail or vice versa? What, what do you think, girls? Should that be the head that side and a real long tail? Or the other way around? The other way around, that's right. You like the other way around? Big long head. Yeah. Are there? Yeah? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so if we get the pliers, and then, so all we want to do is get the pliers, and we just want to bend the tail into our shape. Look how easy it is. So we could do something like that, and then we can then bend it up the way, like that. So quick question while you're doing that, Paul. We've got a couple of people asking, don't you get cake stuck in, no, foil stuck in cake when you cut it. Um, well, you can see that I've really crushed it down yeah. on top of it, so it's, really, it's not just like one little it's piece. Not loose. Run really, it's not loose exactly, and then you put a little bit of um, ganache on top. But of course, if, if you, when, you, when, they cut, when you tell the customer to cut it up, just tell them to watch. But I, I, I've cut up lots of cakes with tin foil underneath it, and you'll be fine. But if yeah. you really, really don't want to do it, the alternative is, I'm looking at it here, is just get a cake card. So cut a little cake card to the same shape two little holes and feed the cake card over the top. There's a few wee bumps on these, so lots of ganache, and sit that on top, and means you've got a little thin cake card on top, and that takes that away right. if you're worried about that. Yeah. All right? So can you see how fun that tail is? Look at that. Yeah, so we've got a really great. little fun little tail. Now the cake's gonna kind of come up and go over here and down like that. So then now the, the neck for this, okay, so we've got this giant neck. So what I want to do, if the cake's coming from there, I'm gonna bend the neck there. Now what I thought would be quite nice is just having it a bit of a curve. So like that, like that. There we go. There we go, that's fine. So like that, yep. And then let's just have this one going up a little bit. Hi Molly. Molly Robbins is awesome. Oh, hi Molly. <coughs> She's coming this week, isn't she? Yeah, Molly's, when's Molly arriving? What's what you say? When? Thursday. 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 Thursday, yeah. There we go. So I think that looks good. So you've got yeah. a, a right neck coming back in itself. You've got the tail going that way. Perfect. So all I want to do now is just pop a little bit of tin foil on there. Now, you were asking another thing. I was just thinking there when you were talking about, about the, the whole tin foil thing, if you're worried about it. Another thing you can do is once the tin foil is on, just for double security, just melt some chocolate. It takes yeah. two seconds, pull the chocolate over the top. It creates a crust like a Easter egg, you know, like a hard shell. And then you put your cake on top if you're really, really worried about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Can you just say that that's the cake that's already in spinally on the fence? Oh, the no, so. Hi. So, the problem was the broadband cable. Oh, uh, so. So, hi to all the Cake members. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, David apologises. <laughs> uh, we had some technical problems with cables, etc. So uh, welcome over. Uh, now you might notice we've got some uh, some people in the studio. Um, so uh, we we have Carol here. <laughs> so uh, Carol's been here for three weeks. Oh no, no, just three days. I'd like to say for three weeks. This fabulous accommodation. I'm doing my best to get a permanent slot in here. <laughs> And Carol, you, you, you might recognise Carol from Sugar and Crumbs and Nifty Nozzles. Nozzles. I keep it saying needles, yeah. And uh, <laughs> so Carol's been here doing a two-day class, and uh, and then she's over for another live with us again. So so we've got um, uh, we've got uh, Sugar and Crumbs on here, and we've got Kate Flicks on here. So we've got seven cameras <laughs> on at the same time. So it's a, it's a bit full on, isn't it? It certainly is. And uh, so if you have just joined us, also Carol is going to be doing some really cool piping uh, on some cones later on with some cake pops on top, and she'll look really yummy. Well, I'm doing some in between work. So, um, so, uh, so what we've got here is a six inch cake. Now, this is my uh, dirty ganache, which we can get rid of now uh, because that's uh, we're going to go over to my clean ganache now. Paul, can I just ask what gauge wires that you've been using? Yep, so it's a four mil uh, gauge wire and it's a six um, threaded rod, not wired. Threaded rod, there you so these are threaded on knot wires, so it means I've got little nuts and bolts underneath that you can attach on to attach them to the board. Now, what I was going to say was because we've had some technical problems uh, from our side, it means we, we can't do a full we can't release this as a full tutorial because oh, no, we missed. Never, never yeah, so what I was going to say was what I'll do is I'll actually do a tutorial, a full length tutorial after it's a bit more advanced on this style of cake, just so you can see that. Which will be fun. 
Okay, so uh, that was like trying to get a uh, wrapped up present in your auntie's bum. <laughs> right, okay, so we've got a six inch square. Now, ideally, you should really just a round cake, but we're going to be carving it anyway, so it doesn't, it doesn't really, really matter. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this on, I'm going to place it on there like that, and actually, do you know what? That actually fits on there fine. Yeah, it so, does. Uh, <laughs> no, that was made to measure. So, <laughs> I, was, I thought I was going to have to cut it, but I'm not going to have to cut it. So, let's just get the ganache straight on there. There we go. That's great, and then I was going to pop that on, and that's it finished. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. You got a pen to draw a face on. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> okay, so we've got a square dinosaur, but I think we want to have one that's maybe a little bit more uh, rounded. So quite simply, all we want to do is uh, just get the knife and just start to carve right. I had some spare cake from earlier on, but there's absolutely no way I'm going to need that spare cake because that's actually massive. <laughs> So all I want to do is just go round. Now just be careful when you're going round not to uh, cut. Just play now to keep bobbing past. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so Carol's uh, getting her ready for a little demonstration, which is coming up once I go into boring modes and I've got to just <laughs> do, do the off cuts and all you that. You must tell your guys, it seems they've only just joined us, about your special offer. When it doesn't matter now, because they're members, doesn't it? Uh, or is it on your live? This is on the, the is this on the, what, is this on the, yeah, main, the main page? Yeah, no. Talk about it. Talk talk, talk. <laughs> so thanks, Carol. <laughs> Carol's going to keep us right. Um, so we have our sale that launched tonight, and it's uh, for our for our pro membership and our premium membership, up to fifty percent off starting tonight. It's the Easter sale, um, so very very exciting. So you need to head over to Cape Flakes and have a wee look. Is that good, David? Is that enough? Do you want to do some more? So if you're not a member. Uh, you need to have a wee look over there, we've over how many tutorials out 800, 900? 900, 906. 906 yeah. tutorials on the website. We've been going for eight years, um, and it feels like it right now. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's been a long been, weekend. It's been a long weekend. <laughs> and if you can hear a funny noise in the background, sorry, background, sorry guys, but I'm actually making the screen colours and pulling things together for the nozzles, um, just to give Paul Carol, something else to do. Carol makes the most amazing buttercreams. So it's a it's an icy sugar that's flavoured with natural flavourings and the taste divine. The taste so good that earlier on there we were doing something a bit fun and uh, it's just a little <laughs> fun project that we're working on. Were they? And uh, they've got all different coloured flavoured um, uh, icing sugars and uh, they're just amazing. It's like tangerine. What was it? Um, orange zest. Orange zest. No Jaffa. <laughs> Jaffa, Jaffa twist. Jaffa twist. Oh, it was so tasty. <laughs> So, because I'm not used to that, so when I see chocolate, I just think it's going to be chocolate because it's just that I work with ganache all the time. Right, so you can see here looking at look at the wee cute dinosaur. So, you can see the wee body there. So, that looks cute. All right, so all I want to do now is just get. Now, if you want to put filling in here, just cut through the middle, lift the top off, and put some ganache in there. So, all I'm going to do is go back and forward and just add in this on, okay? All right, so uh, Maria here is uh, doing some filming, separate filming, and uh, what the guys do over on Sugar and Crumbs is they actually do a one minute video of the whole live and they put it on their YouTube channel. Yes, so, it's amazing. Uh, yeah. She cuts down two hours into one minute. It's amazing. I don't know why we bother for two hours actually. <laughs> <laughs> she gets it all there in one minute. That's brilliant. So can I just tell our audience something by the way? Go so you guys, you know that we were doing a draw? This week, <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing a draw. We'll get Paul to uh, draw the winning ticket later. Laura's busy cutting up everything. So you guys who did the um, chocolate eclairs and the giant cupcake—that's what it was, wasn't it, Laura? Yes. Yeah. So one of you could possibly win ten bags of icing sugar, flavour of your choice. Wow. And later on tonight, we'll get Paul to draw the lucky winner. Okay. Sounds good. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. Okay. So quick question. And would you attempt to work out the number of servings when you're doing a carved cake, or is it more sort of a novelty cake? Uh, no. So if a customer said they're having 100 guests at the, the party, there's no way I would do one this size. So, no. <laughs> so on, on average, I would say like a, 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 a 10-inch cake is roughly 50 portions, 40 to 50 portions. Right. So if it was going to be for 200, then I'd know I'd have to carve a cake much, much bigger uh, yeah, than that. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And, and just another quick one, would you consider using a dome cake for the body rather than square and carving? See, the, the problem with the domes, you yeah, absolutely go for it, but the problem is that the domes are so generic, aren't they? So yes. the problem is you end up carving it. Any, anyway, anyway, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I, I prefer just to do it freestyle. 
And it's nice just to see that you've um, it's all free hands. Of course, yeah. Well, that's it. Like we talked tonight about shaping the tail or the neck, which way you've gone, yeah, and that kind of thing. So the shapes will always differ slightly anyway. Definitely, definitely. And that, that's a lot. There's a lot of um, cake stands that you can buy pre-made. Um, but the problem is they're okay, but if you can then put your own stand, then you've got to put your bespoke design. Yeah. Great. Now, before uh, any more questions, I need to put this in the freezer, just to let it set up and have a quick tidy. So I'll be back in a wee jiffy. Well, just before you go, oh, yeah. um, we want to know what size your head is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's massive. <laughs> it should be after all those love outs, is that? Oh, all those adoring women looking at his lovely pink cheeks. I'm going to be totally honest, I just, I just picked out the bag and shoved it on top. I have absolutely no idea the size of it. So I'll, I'll get back to that once I find a ruler. I think uh, Laura's maybe got a ruler actually, so yes. I'll, get that, I'll get that in a second. So, uh, so I got this uh, just from a, a little um, cheap, uh, cheap china shop that we have in town. Uh, they're cheapest chips, they come in a pack of six, but I think you get them in Amazon. And do you see you sell pots down as well, don't you? Yeah, we do. We sell those buds. Do you sell them as well? Yeah. <laughs> They're called tulip flower buds. I think you get 12 in a packet, is it? Right? I think pots might be slightly different shape. Okay, no, it's only because he's got it on the side like that. that. Yeah, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, we do a couple of different sizes now. So this one is uh, six centimeters. And the width of it is around about four centimeters. So I'm going to just pop him in the freezer just to give him a little um, firm up and I need a quick tidy up. So we're back in a wee jiffy. Over to you for and a second. Over to you, yeah, right. is that, well, I'll move this out of the way first of all just to give you a little bit of space. So just that in looks case, amazing. So just in case you wow. want to know what we're doing. Oh my Look goodness. Paul is going to make one of these. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. I, I do big chunky stuff, not delicate stuff. Look at so, that. <laughs> so we're using nifty nozzles, okay. And I just thought I'd come up with something different, really. I said to, we haven't really decided what we were doing. And uh, I said to Paul, because we're over in Spain, let's do something ice creamy. And somebody did ask me, um, would I make something like this? In fact, they sent me a picture. And I went, yeah, so I thought, you know what? I spent last night looking for the picture. And then we've just, I've just basically knocked this up here, so easy. Nice. So I'll tell you a little bit more in a minute. If you just hold it still, I get a really good zoom in. Do you like it? I just cut half your head off, I'm sorry, I do apologise, it's only temporarily. So we're keeping these crumbs because we need more cones later on, aren't we? And we can sugar. It's absolutely stunning, that. It really is, yeah. So, Very I'm nice. not bothered about the mess, Paul. Don't worry about the mess. I'll, I'll take it two seconds, two seconds. You were that side, now come over. There we go. <laughs> there we go. There we are. Remember we have some sugar paste out later on, so I don't want to begin cross-contamination. Right. So, I tell you what we have forgot to tell them. So, sugar crumbs people, or those people who haven't joined Cake Flicks yet. Have you seen this motor mic in the background? How amazing is this? So, Paul has made this as one of his tutorials. This is what I mean about professionalism, guys. So, if you go and join Cake Flicks, you learn how to make things like this. It's stunning. I can't show you one of those on a live. I mean, I'll ask Paul to do <laughs> next time we're here. I think, but, I think if I ever come over to your kitchen, I'm going to get you to make something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so you should get me to do that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a little mini version. So, but you're going to do something special with this, aren't you, Paul? Tell us all about it. Yep, so um, so coming up this November, Cake International, we have... Um, I, I, I like to go public with it every year. Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry. I don't know what to say. Is this a good one on again? Is it? No, it's just blown oh. out the hot air. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a while to cool down. Um, so this this in November, Cake International, uh, we've been working on something that's been... It's taken David probably six months to actually get here. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got the green light. And uh, so as some of you know, we have our pro members. And the pro members... Um, uh, every year come to Cake International and we do a little collaboration and they make a cake that's, that's uh, been inspired by Cake Flicks. But one of our members, who we actually don't know who it is because we can't, we can't find her and she's not came forward, at, at the end of last year said, Paul, all this work that the students put in creating these cakes, it was, it's a shame we can't do something to raise money or, you know, make it a bit more a, a reason to do it rather, rather than just have a cake on just display. Just yeah, yeah, exactly. So, um, so she says, why don't we try and do something for charity? And straight away, as soon as I heard the word charity, I just thought Pudsey Beer. And I thought, how cool would it be to have 200 Pudsey Beer cakes on display on one table? So that's exactly what we're doing this November. Wow. 
So what we're going to do, 200. I know, so what we're going to do, because what we want to do, we want everyone to make floods of bears, not just our students. So we're going to release between now and November free tutorials for everyone in the world how to make puds of bear cakes. So that's going to be for everyone, but also we're going to do some, some puds of bears on some of our actual designs. So in the next up and coming couple of weeks, we're actually going to make a puds of bear driving the motorbike with these leathers on. He's going to have his wee tassels and his goggles. It's been amazing, it's really absolutely. Really I think that's just amazing on its own. Yeah. 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 So guys, just before you go, okay, so we are in the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen alias Cake Flicks, okay, so we're borrowing their kitchen tonight because we're, Paul is actually on our live stream, David is muscling in here. So, <laughs> okay, so just to let you know, my own um, audience is very much aware that what goes on in the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen and the Cake Flicks Kitchen stays in the kitchen. So do not worry if you see me touch my hair, lick my finger, nobody is going to eat anything in this kitchen. It's not for public consumption. Just for us. It's just for us. Okay, so I know you're really jealous when we're scoffing these later, but it really is just for us. We don't really want to come out with a hat on or be ashed with the same my hair it's frizzed up like no end in this hot weather <laughs> so um, we don't really want to come out with a hat on we don't want a face mask on we don't want to be all in whites or but he put his whites on good luck to him so but basically seriously don't take it serious it's a bit of fun that's all we're having if we were in a kitchen where we was giving it to the general public or we were selling it of course we would do all the things that you're supposed to do but we're here we're just playing and we're just demoing just having fun just having Not fun it's just it's just it just so happens it's food Yes. It, it could be, it could be hard you know what? sometimes yeah. just chill out you know <laughs> i don't go not when i'm cooking my children's sunday dinner they think i was an idiot did you go up cooking our tea last night no you know, I didn't see you with your hair net on and mask on. <laughs> not, not when I have a phone down the number. <laughs> well, should be telling them that. Should be telling them how you cooked for us. <laughs> right, so while you're doing that, I'm just going to grab... Do you want to grab all that stuff for me? Sure, You're no going to be my assistant now, Paul. That's fine. So we're using a product called Nifty Nozzles, okay? These are the genuine Russian piping tips. Anybody who knows me from Sugar and Crumbs knows that I only sell brand products. I don't sell anything that's an infringing copy. Um, the nozzles were first designed by a gentleman in Russia called Alexander Lebedev. We are his European distributor and we've rebranded them Nifty Nozzles. So all the nozzles come from Russia. If they haven't got Nifty Nozzles on the side, it means that they're a copy and uh, we're not too impressed with that. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I'm here to show you how to use them and to show Paul, we used them last time, we were here, didn't we, I think? Did we use them? Yeah, you did, did the we... hedgehog. Yes, we did the hedgehog. Yeah. We got, yeah, yeah, by the little peach yeah. bakery thing. Yeah. yeah. Your yeah. hands are very red from um, our gel, just to make Oh, see them. <laughs> <laughs> just before you touch your face or anything like yeah. that. He's already got pictures of what he says it is. I thought you were talking about <laughs> jazz hands. <laughs> <laughs> just thought I'd point that out. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> So what I'm going to do is, is that it's very warm in this kitchen. We have got the aircon on. Maria is staying well out of sight because she is freezing and she's got no cardigan. She's come to Spain thinking that she was going to be fine, but she um, really doesn't like the aircon on. So she's over there hiding, aren't you? <laughs> and moaning. So, right, so I'm going to show Paul how to do these. So Paul, I said to Paul, right, I can't bring these from the UK. Now in the UK, the cones are a lot smaller than this. So this cake stand is on our wish list. It does say out of stock at the moment, but it isn't out of stock. I will put them in stock later. It's just been a manic day and I haven't put them in stock. So there's plenty to go on in stock afterwards. So I said to Paul, can we make up some cake pops? And um, we were going to buttercream them, but because it is so warm in here, even with the AC on, was a bit worried, so you have done some sort of a <laughs> truffle ganache, did you call yeah, it? Yeah, you went away for uh, some lunch for dinner, and uh, I got a bit excited. Yeah, so it's just, it's just all I just got all the um, the scrap cake, chopped in some ganache, uh, a little bit of Bailey's in there as well, rolled some balls, and then once it came out the fridge, I put even more chocolate on the outside of it. So nice and yummy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. They're quite heavy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you might see. No, all we're going to do is make the buttercream recipe. It's a normal buttercream recipe, two to one. There's nothing special about it. Whip your butter till it's light and fluffy. It doesn't matter whether it is salted butter or unsalted butter. I never use premium butter because I always use our flavoured icing sugars. Our flavoured icing sugars are delicious and they're not just for buttercream. You can use them to make macarons, cheesecake, ice cream, whatever you like. So all you're doing is substituting. Did you wash the scissors up as well? Paul? No. Oh, I've got some scissors. You've got some scissors? 
So, um, so there's no need to use an expensive butter. Um, cut the bag, my own customers know how to do this, all we're going to do, so Paul, are you paying attention? I'm paying attention. <laughs> so because Paul's got so much to do, I'm trying to negotiate when we can come back again, because I'm going to set him the challenge by leaving him some nozzles so that he can practice, so when I come back again, it's going to make something amazing. Of course, I'll practice every single day. Absolutely. <laughs> you don't practice it last time, have you? <laughs> Did you know it's not the stone the door? <laughs> Exactly. Like some in there. <laughs> exactly. So what we're going to do is just put some buttercream in here, and while you're doing that, I'm just going to go and check on the cake. So you go and check on the cake. Solid, so bad, yeah, there. exactly. I'm going to make this a nice lemon colour. So just a quick reminder: the products that Carol's using, including the Nifty Nozzle, the Colour Splash gels, all the flavours of the ice and sugars, for example, all available on the Sugar and Crumbs website. So head over to sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. Um, there is a wish list, so if it's it's something in particular that's been used on the line tonight, go right across the top of the um, website, right over to the right hand side of Facebook Live, drop down to April and find Paul's name and everything's there in the list for you. Yeah, it is. So I'm going to fill the bag for you. So like I say, it's a, a two to one recipe. All I do is whip the living daylight out of the butter until it is light and fluffy, okay? I try and get it as white as I possibly can. And it's a really nice, soft consistency. Um, over here, it's going to get a bit softer in here. And at home, I would never put it in the fridge, apart from last year when we had the heat wave, but normally I wouldn't put it in the fridge at all. So we've just done this lovely yellow color. And then I'm just going to quickly show Paul how to do one of these. So this is a cake pop, okay? Um, you can either bake, if you use cones at home, okay, you wanna put your cake mix in, you can put your cake mix in, sit them in here, and you can actually use this to bake in the oven with. So make sure you put it on a flat tray, okay? And then afterwards you can use it as you stand. Um, we're having a bit of trouble with these because we went and picked up some cones today, didn't we Maria? Maria, Maria negotiated a nice deal with the ice cream lady. <laughs> I think she paid us back by giving us these ginormous things here. And then uh, Paul has made the cake pops and he's uh, ganached them for us. Um, you can buttercream or ganache. And then what we're going to do then is, all we're going to do, and I don't know which camera you're on, Paul. Uh, David, can you see everything? Okay, so all we're going to do is just go straight on so that you pay attention, Paul. I'm going to second, can't see from that side. Okay, so all we're going to do is... Squeeze onto the cake very easily. Mm. So we're just going to randomly go. So you're actually, you're actually touching the cake. Yeah, yeah. You're touching you must pop yeah. your nozzle straight onto the cake. And then pull back. And that one was a bit short, so we can go up on top of it again. Mm. So there's a lot of buttercream on here, but to be fair, it is cake. So afterwards, when you come to eat it, it's more of a decoration, really. Yeah. But when you come to eat it, just take it off the cone and cut it in half like a big cake pop or cut it in doing it quarters. So I'm just running out of my buttercream here. So I'm now going to use the injection method. Have you got that, Laurie? Yeah, I'll get in that. Okay, then we've got the leaf nozzle. Wow. And we're just going to fill in all the little gaps. It looks absolutely beautiful. So pure, isn't it? It's Someone not bad did, considering it's my second one tonight. Someone did say before it almost looks like a bridal bouquet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's a much better idea than having a um, <laughs> having <laughs> a, <laughs> a <laughs> much fresh flower and you can actually eat it afterwards. Yeah. I just gave the image of the, the bride in the background <laughs> covered in cake and buttercream. <laughs> Instead of being drunk, she's she's in a, in a food a sugar coma. Yeah, I like that. Do you like that? I think it's, it's gorgeous. Lovely. I think it happens that, isn't Absolutely it? Absolutely gorgeous. Like a fancy yes, that is a fancy American moment. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got to say, Mr. Bradford? Oh, no, much. No. <laughs> you put it on the spot. Should I, I tell you how wonderful. handsome you are now? No, how gorgeous, <laughs> it's how gorgeous you are. And how lovely those red cheeks are. And how I'm saying how my hair's down and your hair is all up and lovely. <laughs> I just love it. If you guys saw, <laughs> if you guys saw us 24 hours ago, <laughs> he's getting paid at back time for the suffering he has put me through all weekend. Believe me, this man has had us work all weekend. It's been a stutter and a half. Yes. Like that's, that's for sure. So I think you're making a great job of that. Yeah, I think so too. I think you're doing very well. Considering you've done 24 hours on the trot. I think you are as well. <laughs> you've done 24 hours on the trot. Okay. So Mr. Bradford no. said to me. Wow. Carol, I made this one specially for you. Did he? 
<laughs> really made this one special for me. So what do you think, guys? Yes. <laughs> I don't think there's enough butter too much. So. <laughs> don't worry, I've got plenty here to refill. <laughs> So, well, why don't we have a, a break, go back to Dino, and then come back to that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll let Carol have a tidy up, we'll get the Dino ice, and then once I've got the body ice, we'll come back to this. So we're just so we're breaking up a little bit over the night. Yeah. Does that sound good? Playing I think that's a time. great idea. So I'll go get playing Dino. The time. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, Carol, just a couple of questions. I know anybody, you can use any of the lifting nozzles because yes. they're all absolutely yeah. beautiful, but in particular, what have you used this evening? Right, okay, so I have used the Carnation, which is the 108, if I remember. Oh. I'll be honest to look. Yep. Yep, it's the 108. To know that it's a genuine nifty nozzle, it'll have nifty nozzles on the side. On the other side, it will have tulip. Um, Alexander's shop in Russia is called Tulip, so it doesn't mean it's a tulip nozzle. So we're using, Paul is going to be using Carnation, but I am going to give it a go on one of the smaller ones in a minute. We're also using a nozzle called Night Jasmine. And if I remember right, this is 104, I think it is. Oh, 105, okay. But you can use any, and we are using the Wilson 352. Um, I was going to use the 366, but I don't think we actually need it, to be fair. So I've got a cloth in that I can wipe my hands with. So, um, yeah, use any of the nozzles. Use the, I think the minis might just be a little bit too small. I think you'll have to, because these are the large. And if you've got the extra large, I think they would be great as well. So I'm going to go back over here. Let Paul get on with what he's doing with this. I'll make up some more bags of colour, because I've got another nozzle over there as well that I'll get Laura to dig out for me. So that's what I was thinking. Okay. I'll give you time to make more butter cream. Absolutely. Thanks, Paul. For that really big one. <laughs> so let's move this out of the way. Yeah. I'll have to slide it around here, though, yeah. because... There we go. Let's move out Laura's Perfect. camera. How nice would that be in a shop? Let's see if you've got a little, a little cafe or something yes. and they're just sat at the counter. So nice. Alright, let's move them. There we go, that's fine. Good. Right, so uh, so back to Dino. So you can see here we've got the Dino, it's been in the freezer. Uh, I've just boiled the kettle and I've just um, got the pat knife in there and all I want to do, ouch, that's actually really, really, really hot. And we just want to go around and give them a little bit of a kinny facial. Let's get rid of some of those wrinkles and just back and forward and give them a nice, nice smooth body. Now, if you do this, um, your buttercream, uh, sorry, not your buttercream, we've got buttercream in the head now, your, uh, your sugar paste is going to love it because it's going to be nice and smooth. Now, if you're a fast worker, if you do this fast enough, I mean, you can just leave it with the boiling water, get your sugar paste out, get your sugar paste on, and you're not having to worry about having to re-wet the cake. Now, I've put the ganache on relatively thin, and I'll put a slightly thicker layer on, so if it was a little bit soft quite quickly, but it will be fine. Now, as I say, we're going to use some pink sugar paste for the, the body. She's so brands in with, uh, with Carol's lovely bright t-shirt and her brand. <laughs> so uh, we're always thinking of the... Your the, audience hasn't oh, seen our pink dragons, have they? Uh, oh, they've not seen the pink dragons. No, you have to bring them in. Bring them back in. So Carol's been, uh, Carol actually has been here for like three days. I have. And, uh, and it's, uh, been, it's been... around there. Friday morning. Yeah, <laughs> we've had a, a, a class, two classes this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. And uh, we're making dragons and uh, this date here. So it's been good fun. Rather rather long two days, but it's been good fun. I think I had a bit too much fun in the class. <laughs> right, so just give the, the table a wee wet. And we're just going to get the sugar paste out. Now we're using Massa Ticino uh, sugar paste. <clears throat> um, just because it's quite, quite warm. And we just know it's going to be nice and uh, set nice and firm. I think, do you guys sell that? Yeah, we sell that. Yeah, yeah. so uh, Carol sells that over in Sugar and Drums. It's page four, you'll see if you stroll <laughs> down the right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm just grabbing some, some sugar paste. There we go. So we've got 750 grams, and uh, hopefully that should be more than, more than that. Oh, look, it's really close to the car. Wow. Look at that, look at that, let's have a look. Yeah, oh, look at that. that. Nearly there. Yeah, it is. Fantastic. I was going to go purple, <clears throat> and I could hear Carol cough from the background, and I thought she wants pink. Uh, we've got those pink dragons, which we'll have to show you a lot afterwards. We've got the pink dragons, but she, always, she was making the, the, the jungle food, and every time I turned around, she was trying to do a pink lion and a pink zebra. <laughs> so I had, to, I had to whip it off her. She was getting too excited. Right, okay, so let's get a little bit of powder on here. So this is just a little um, pouch. 
and it's just got, it's actually got icing sugar in it because I, I ran out of uh, corn flour. But normally it'd be corn flour that I'd use on this. So we just want to soften this up. Now, very exciting. Um, to, uh, on the first day, as I say, we've got uh, Molly Robbins coming over. And you might know Molly from Extreme Cakes on Channel 4. And she was on our live last Monday. That's right. She was using mm -hmm. our new our new molds. Yeah, our new, new creature, creature molds. Mold. Creature yeah. mold. so, uh, Just to let you know, for you guys who missed out, because they sold out. They sold out in, was it 35 minutes? Yeah, 45 it was before minutes? the live had even finished. Yeah. Wow, that's, so that's we impressive. have got, Molly has allowed us to have them on... Um, Pre-order yes. uh, for dispatch. We hope on the sixth of May. So you can you can order them for those ladies who did miss out. And is she going to use that when she's here with you next week? Yeah, yeah she is. Yep. Yeah. We've actually we've actually designed a really cool room pen. Sorry. That's great. So I think all you guys who actually got one on the night will be really chuffed you got one. And those guys who didn't get one will be coming back to our website to get one. Also, if you're lucky, and if Molly works fast enough, which is a very fast worker, so that'd be a yes. Uh, we're hoping Molly's going to do a live next week, uh, this, or oh, this week, Friday. this week, <laughs> <laughs> this Friday, uh, live as well, using her uh, mold as well. So, so lots of uh, lots of freebies, aren't we? We're so good with the, yeah. the freebies, aren't we? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just rolling out the 750 grams, which is ridiculous because I forgot I was wanting that for the whole cake. <laughs> so I'm just going to remove that. I'm too busy talking. Because uh, I'm rolling it far too much sugar paste there, so put that to one side and just give it a wee roll. There we go. There we are. Good. Right. There we are. So I'm rolling this down to around about sort of three and between three and four millimeters in thickness. Now, when we stop there, still we've got on the thick side. So just one more little roll. And if you go into the, there's some little ear bubbles in there. I'm not bothered about them because we're really dimpling the, the surface. So it doesn't, it doesn't really matter, okay? So let's bring over the, the dinosaur. Now, if you get the knife and you measure roughly, <clears throat> I think that air conditioning has given me a, a dry throat that happened with the other day there. I can feel the cough coming on. Okay, so it's about the exact same size as the knife. So if I place that on there and just put a little mark there and a little mark there, that's good. I can put a slit there and one there. So when I put this onto the cake, it's going to slot over the threaded rod. Okay, so just pop that on there. Look at that. Wow. And then over here. It's amazing. That. So simple, but you would never think of doing that. Just makes it a little bit easier, doesn't <laughs> yeah. it? Yeah. Definitely. There we go. I have to say, having been on the bus with Paul this weekend, we learned some tricks that yeah. I thought, wow, crikey. <laughs> it's amazing when you know. I think when you're, whoops, getting caught on my tail there. I think when you're, um, Making lots of cakes all the time. You, it's, I call it little hacks. Yeah. And you just find little hacks to make life a little bit easier. Oh, sure. And it's usually hacks because you've got a hack because you made a mistake in the past. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I always tell, tell students. Don't worry if you make a mistake. It just means you'll do it. You won't do it wrong again. Yeah. All right. So, uh, so I've got a little bit of a, a little bit of a problem here. So I'm just cutting that off there. It doesn't matter because we have the tail going over there. So you're not actually going to see that. Yeah. Okay, so just around, be smooth, and then that's all good. Now, if I get my acetate smoothed out, and I might need a pair of scissors, so if there's any scissors lying around, there I can't see pads. any, but I'm sure I saw some somewhere. Yeah, yes. Oh, they're there, actually, yeah, I did see them, yeah. So that's good. Oh, there we go, nice big ones, thanks for the air. Okay, so just give it a wee soon. I know some of you are quite OCD and you like to do this, so do it as long as you want, but you need to put dimples on anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But if it makes you feel better, just keep going. All right, there we go, that's good. So if we get a pair of scissors, and we just want to give a little haircut going around the side. So I'll try and do this at different angles so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so there, so what's that, about uh, two centimeters or something? Just yeah, around there, yeah. yeah. And then what we're going to do is just get a little bit of water and we're hopefully going to just push that up so that you, so it just kind of gives it a roundedness. Yeah. If we're doing, if I was doing this a bit more advanced, I'd probably want to like give it a little bit of belly underneath there. So I'd turn it upside down and I would create some, a little belly maybe using ganache or maybe using some uh, rice crispy treats just to give it a more rounded uh, effect. So I've got a little cup of water. I want to put my fingers in the water and I want to go round and I want to just wet the, the little frill 
that's underneath there. There we go. So is anyone watching the both uh, shows at the same time? Have we got anyone? Yeah, have we got... Has anyone got the, the cat two on? Yeah, like you did last time, you were on two appliances. <laughs> so, Sugar and Crumbs people were quite naughty doing that last time. Are you doing it again this time? I feel sorry for the partners out there. <laughs> <laughs> wonder, had... is, is there an echo, I wonder? <laughs> what, has it been synced at the exact same time? That would be good to know. Yeah. So is there a time delay between the two, the two um, channels? Or do they have sound on one and not on the other? Yeah. Yes, and let us know if That'd you're watching both. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> imagine we will have a bit of a delay because we go through a, a streaming source. Ah, yeah. That would be interesting. Yes, I yeah, so think that's quite funny, that, actually. Yes, if anybody can let us know, if you're on Cake Flicks, let us know how, uh, are you, how far behind are you or how, how far in front. Okay, so if I hold that up just so you can see, um, what we've done there, you can see I've tucked it underneath and I'm just trying to pull off the, the excess so I don't get that in the way. So you can see if I hold it, can you see roughly the, the, the wee bit, the overhang there? Yeah. Yeah. And look at that, look at the cake on its side. Look, how cool is that? Okay, so uh, <laughs> proper good structure going on there. All right, so there we go. So now I wonder, should we put a tail on first before we stop and go back to cupcake, not cupcakes, buttercream? <laughs> I think we'll put a tail on first, yeah? Let's get a tail Absolutely. on. Absolutely. Right. <clears throat> yeah, we have got a couple of people who are watching watching both Kate Flicks and John Sugarman from And who will they be? There is a slight delay, so Lynn Burgess. Yeah. Um, I Judith think she Scott, was doing it last time, wasn't she? Possibly, yeah. Judith Scott is. She's saying she's got the sound on on one and sound off on the other. Um, <laughs> I think Wendy Dixon as well. And which one's, which one's first? Is it sugar and crumbs? Well, no, apparently sugar and crumbs are... Apparently, Debbie, <laughs> Debbie's saying that sugar and crumbs are a couple of minutes behind. Oh. Which is quite interesting. How have you managed to catch up? <laughs> I'm not sure how that's worked. Right. I don't think that we can possibly be behind. We started before them. Then, to be fair, Victoria <laughs> Turner's just said cake flakes is only about five seconds ahead. So, oh. maybe uh, it's uh, different depending on how you're streaming it. Mm, interesting, yeah. isn't it? They, they would have a cheeky face there. Uh, pretty well chuffed. <laughs> <laughs> Took him ages to catch up with us, and now he's done it. He was doing a wee high five to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, uh, so what we're doing is get, put the tail on. So you can see here, I've rolled a sausage. Now, uh, hopefully you can see that's going to be far too big, okay? So just to sort of give you an idea, okay? So, uh, so what I want to do is just uh, roll it down and just make it a little bit thinner, okay? So, uh, so I think that looks good. So uh, just if I get the knife and roughly, so it needs to be slightly larger than the knife. So about there, just say about there. We come across and hold it. So we're gonna go round there, up there. So actually that's not bad when you see it on there like that, okay? So the easiest way to, to attach the, the tail onto there is I want to get the knife. Seems a little bit wrong doing this. Feels like you've uh, you been in, in for a cut, yeah. <laughs> okay? We've got the, the um, surgeon on hand, scalpel. <laughs> Okay, and just open up the the, uh, the wound, and then uh, just watch it not cut too far in, and then just back and forward uh, with your hand just to open that up. That's good. Now the problem is if you cut too far, because of gravity, what will happen is, it's, and because it's just sugar paste, the weight will pull it through and it will rip, and it will just you'll see the metal come out the top. So you really have to be very careful, especially down here where it's heavier, just to cut in and no more. So it's so slightly thicker there, and it thins off as we get to the, the top. Okay, I keep on losing the water. Oh, there it is there, that's fine. Right, so, so I'm just sip, using simple water. So I'm gonna wet the bum, so to speak, around there. And then, so Carol was learning this little trick over the last couple of days. Mm. What you want to do is you want to make, it's almost like a suction pad, isn't it? And you can push it onto the cake. So, and it just helps to blend a little bit faster. Now, the blending can take a while, so we're not doing lots of blending tonight, but it's going to, you're going to see the little join because uh, that's going to be extremely boring to watch um, the blending. So you can see here what's happened is just because I've had that turned over, I've just uh, closed it off. There, right, okay, let's go for this. Hope it's going to work. So we just want to pop a little bit of water inside here, so it closes off. There we go. Right, and then we want to lift it up uh, bring that, set it on top, like so. I can feel the tail inside. Oh wow, we've stretched the big now. There we go, and that just goes on there, like so. Lovely, and just pull off the excess. 
like that. Okay, so once that's on, I'm just going underneath and just blending that on. Okay, so that looks good underneath. Okay, just definitely make sure it's closed because it looks a little bit rude <laughs> underneath there. There we go. Right, okay, so that's good. So we've got the tail on. Now there's a wee bit of metal coming off the top there, but that's just because I've been, uh, been manhandling it too much. And if you just get your little lead tool, so a little Dresden style tool, and if I just wet the, the sugar paste join. Now the one thing that we didn't do that I've just remembered actually, Carol, is that we didn't glaze the cakes. So oh, I no, use we a lot. Yeah, I know. So we can do it. We'll do yeah, it. We'll do yeah. <laughs> so uh, I use a lot of water when I'm blending, and you end up with lots of water marks. So uh, to, to compensate that, just get some of the glaze. It's uh, shell and shine, or you get just a spray glaze, and just use them. Give that a scoosh. I, mean, I was using scoosh at the weekend, and they're like, yeah, scoosh. what's a scoosh? <laughs> a spray. Come out with some strange terminology yeah. at the weekend. We're like, what? A little, bit of a, a little bit of Scottish in there, yeah. Now, um, for the OCD ones, what you want to do is really just, I'll just do a little bit back and forward, and you're kind of knitting the sugar pastes together. So I'll do a little bit just to show you. So back and forward, we'll do this side because it's the front, I'm not too worried about the back. And what you want to do is just keep blending back and forward. Okay, and what happens is the sugar paste starts to go tacky. Can you hear it starting to go tacky? Yeah. Now, if I could get me a bit of kitchen roll, is there any kitchen roll lying around anywhere? Can anyone see any kitchen roll? It's okay, no one's eating the cake, we just use the tea towel. Nice and hygienic. <laughs> what goes on yeah. in the kitchen yeah. stays in the kitchen. Oh, no, <laughs> bit of it. It goes tacky, and when it goes tacky, what you can do is if you pull the sugar paste up and just give it a little rough pull, it, it pulls the rough sugar paste from both together. And it's like little microfibers almost that just come together. You just keep on doing that back and forward. You can then get your tool, score it over the top, back on there, and then finish off with smooth water again. And just blend that around. And look at that. Yeah, you almost can't completely see gone. Can you see yeah. that? So yeah. It's a really good little technique. And it's just blended right on. I'm not going to do the whole thing because it yeah. takes quite a long time. But it's a really good way to sort of blend it. And people just look at the king and go, wow, how have they managed to ice that all in one? Yeah. Uh, which is really good. But of course, if you've not got any glaze, be very careful. If you've not got any glaze, you're probably better to wet the whole cake just so it's kind of got the same look. Because if it dries, you get all these patches, which mm. doesn't look very, very good. All right, so I think that's good. I think we're happy with that. So what I'm going to do is, um, it's now that time, isn't it? I'm going to put in the hot seat here. <laughs> Um, okay, so we'll put the dino to one side. There we are. Is that okay over there, do you think? Is that in anyone's way? No, actually, sorry. And uh, if you want to be really OCD, look, can you see the join underneath? Oh, okay. So you can do the exact same thing with the join and just blend it. But I'm going to show you a trick later on to hide that, which is much faster. Okay? Are we just about ready, Carol? We are ready. Just one second. I'm just going to make up some green. That's fine. Right, where's my uh, food bag for this? I'm not going to want, so I've got a wee secret drawer. Secret drawer, it's a drawer with a drawer. Yeah, I never saw that over the weekend. Did you not see that over the weekend? No. <laughs> there we go. Right. <clears throat> so I'll just do my hands a wee wash. Right. So let's get Paul onto the big one, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a feeling we drop it on the floor. You should have seen that this man so grinning weird. from ear to ear when he goes, Carol, I made you this one. Oh, yeah, really. <laughs> have you made me this one? <laughs> it's just called double whammy. <laughs> I don't think so. So I'm just making some more green. I'll bring it over. Yeah, do you want to slide them over? Fact, I think probably slide, slide them. them. Right, yeah. Oh, somebody's opened a can of beer. <laughs> <laughs> Um, can we ask a quick question about the um, blending? Could you use vodka instead of water to make a difference? Um, the reason why I use water is that it just it stays a little bit more wet to get the tackiness. Um, so it's again, actually, dry. sorry, yes, you can use vodka, just don't use the 96%. It dries so quickly that the tackiness yes. doesn't happen and it just disappears. So yeah, so but I prefer to use the water. But I can see why you want to use the vodka as it evaporates. But you will still be left the mark on the cake. Yeah. So yeah. 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 You just press the pink button. Yeah. There we are. Or you use the pink box just because it's all matches. Where's the pink dragons? <laughs> Where's the pink dragons? I don't know. What do you we'll do with pink dragons? Yeah, I'm happy to. Let's kill a little bit more time. Yeah, yeah. just before I have to do that pink <laughs> thing. Yeah. So for anybody, we have got a couple of viewers um, from the Sugar and Crumb side that were a little bit late joining us this evening. Um, so if you have missed any of the live, the introduction or what we're making tonight, 
Just head over to the Facebook page when we finish and it will be pinned to the top of the page for you. It will also go over to YouTube as well. And look at this. These were my dragons. And look at the structure. Wow. Look at the structure. <laughs> and that's all real cake as well. The heads are not really real, heavy. but all the bodies and everything because it's real. Look. It's been a fantastic. My blender is not very good. Don't yeah. shut my Oh, sorry, blender. but look at the hands. <laughs> She's in with the hands pushing the up the back. Oh. That's cute, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> But so, what I really like about Carol's cake, and she, and she was, this is all designed from the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the bottom one, he's lying on his side of his oh, little yes. arm. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to be like that. No, it wasn't. But it, it was a mistake, but I'm, I put him right. But, it's leaning up. It is, it is. Yeah. When, when we first started the class, this is the class, okay, I want everyone to be very creative and open-minded. And Carol's like, I'm too tired to be creative and open-minded. <laughs> and then within, I'm just going to follow you. And then within an hour, she was like, I'm doing the thing, can we do one lying over? I'm going to do... <laughs> Marbling of the bowl, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, marbling of the belly, it's fantastic. Did this opera effect, and he's like, I Thought you went creative. <laughs> I think and once then, you relax into class, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, no, it's brilliant. It's been a great well day. Done. Do you really like great. it? It's Gorgeous, great, yeah. 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 Lo loads of things, you know, you know that I always burn the chocolate in the microwave when we ever have a guest in. <laughs> so, and we learned how to ganache, which was great. Uh, carved real cake, which I did do that the first time with Dawn Butler a couple of weeks ago, which was amazing, but then we did it with Paul. I've actually never built anything of a structure in my life before. I can't believe that, and you've never no. done a ganache before either. No. Yeah. Uh, no, useless. What, what flavour what flavor is this? Is it lemon? Yeah. Get a taste of it. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Stop waiting for time. Mm. <laughs> well, we'll just do the head just now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So what we're here doing is because um, it's sugar and crumbs night tonight. It's not officially cake flicks. He's here on Tuesday. What days do you do? Cake flicks Thursday nights, isn't it? Probably just random. Just random. Yeah. No, just random. Yeah, but it's been a bit off because you've been touring Australia and enjoying yourself, haven't yeah, you? Yeah. You've only really got back into things, haven't you? Recently? I can't, can't get back into it at all. <laughs> I'm away again. I've got to be honest. In this lovely weather, I wouldn't want to get back into it. We came oh. here and today we're like, well, the girls arrived today, and I said. Shall we bother? <laughs> John will kill us. <laughs> Shall we bother? Shall we just enjoy the weather? <laughs> so anyhow, so Paul made the cakes for me. He's ganached them um, as well. And he's done this nice stipply effect. Not quite sure why, but anyhow. Obviously, I, thought, I thought the bar cream might stick onto it better. Is that what it is? Yeah. You're going to know, aren't you? <laughs> so we just thought it was a bit of fun. Somebody did ask me uh, a couple of weeks ago, would I make these? I've never really thought it. I've made ice cream um, cones before, but I've never really thought about doing this with the nifty nozzles. So, you know what, when I was here, I'm very, I'm actually never organised before we do a live. I'm never sure what we're going to do. So, uh, I think it's great. See for a wedding. See having it on the, like the, the buffet table, not the buffet table, the sweet table. Mm. Really nice. Or even a cup uh, in a cafe or... Get the background. Yeah, and it'd be really nice, I think, an airport, <laughs> a jumbo sale. <laughs> Right, we might have to put it in the fridge as well. Oh, it feels hot. <laughs> or is that just me? It's got, really, it's got really, it's really warm in here. So they start at the top? No, no. Nothing's on. <laughs> I've showed you twice. No. So, so okay. I think you're giving me a hard nozzle. That looks like a difficult one. So you must put the nozzle onto the cake, squeeze. Yeah, there you go. Well, that Look looks alright. And then you're going to keep going around. Yeah, yeah. that's Maria's at it now. So there, look, he's on a roll. Oh he's God. on a roll. Can we see Laura? Yep. Oh. Uh, oh, okay, good oh, now. Good. Keep going as fast as you can. Oh, do you go faster? Right, yeah. Okay. Right. Well, it's actually better when you go fast, yes. isn't it? Yeah. It is. Oh, that was it. Oh, that yours one. is going to have lots of. Pursuit. This is going to be a big boy, this one, isn't it? Right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting a little bit. They're, 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 they're getting past their best, these flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, we're almost trying to hoot. <laughs> we're not even right. <laughs> there's not, there's not we've got more yellow in there. Yeah, Don't you know. worry, we've got more yellow in there. <laughs> that doesn't think it's going to be enough. <laughs> we might have to do some green ones. Is <laughs> everybody came anywhere? Is that it? <laughs> That's what we get. That's what we get. <laughs> That's what happens when they give it to a man. Look how big these are. <laughs> So, wait a minute, let me get this scrape over. We're going to have to get yeah, yeah. every bit out of it. Oh my goodness, it's not going to... What we'll do is we'll do one side. I think we'll do one side. That's because of you and your big cake pot. 
I was yeah. asked where, where you can buy the stand from. Oh, you can Home buy stand. the stand off us. I will tell you, it's showing out of stock at the moment. So I'll let Laura tell you about how you can buy the products off us. It's not out of stock. He'll be back in stock tonight. It's just that because I'm over here and I've been doing the class, I actually forgot to update the stock. You're too busy. So, yeah. We're well, cranky, we're out of everything, you aren't we? You've got some view in it as well. <laughs> yeah, we put anything I can in here. I'll be there. I think we can maybe scrape some out of that. Just to recap, if you want to purchase anything that's uh, being used tonight on the live, head over to sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. Um, this is actually a Wilson branded product, so you can either search by brand under Wilson. Um, it's called Cone Cake Sand. Cone Cake Sand. Um, you can either search by brand to Wilson, or if you go to the right hand side of the page, there is a Facebook Live wish list, um, and all of the products that are being used this evening are available there. Wait now, there's stuff in there. There's stuff in here. Uh, you want to use this? I was going to use it, yeah. Oh, we oh, might okay. not use it, yeah. Oh, okay. So, so this is going to be a bit of a two-tone effort. All right, not let's see. No, no. No, all right. Let's keep going, Paul. No, I'll, try, I'll, do them, I'll, try, I'll do them a little bit smaller, shall I? Oh, it's, it's starting to melt on Oh, it's you. starting to melt, isn't it? Oh, that's a shame. But I'm going to keep on going. Just do them a bit smaller and then you'll get the detail. Oh, a little bit smaller. All right, oh, there we go. Yeah. He is making them massive. <laughs> can you see the detail when you make them a oh, bit yeah, smaller? I can see it. I have to tell you, these are like two inch flowers. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done this before. I did, I did. It gives us a good excuse to come back. <laughs> yeah. I, I like, like the green. I was going to say, I like that green. Yeah, the green's through. coming through yeah. now. Oh, my goodness, it's massive. <laughs> It's massive. <laughs> but they look better when they're small. Did, did you yeah. know that? Yeah, of course I do. It's you. <laughs> oh, look, they look really nice on the top. <laughs> well, these are the new ones. You the know when you said the bride's bouquet? <laughs> <laughs> I think you just made it. <laughs> this could be this summer's colours. Oh, we might just get enough out oh, yeah, here. Oh. Yeah. I might have to do your syringe technique. Yeah. yeah. Right, then we're going to do some leaves. Well, actually, you don't need to take yeah. them. Yeah. Oh, so you it. need to be squeezing some leaves in. Yeah. Have you got your leaves the right way? Oh, no. There we go. Yeah. <coughs> there we go. What does everyone think? I think it's beautiful. <laughs> I think it's beautiful. Well, the darling singing should just sing into it. <laughs> I think we're going to have to put this in a vase. <laughs> we can't stand that in there. So I don't so even think it'll fit. <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's a tumbler just um, as you go into the kitchen, a glass glass tumbler. Yeah. Oh, just in the kitchen? Yeah, just in the kitchen, up, up the top. Look at the size. That's something that's going to hold it. Everyone's very impressed. And impressed? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's good. I think she'll have some coming down. Like, see, so a little bit down oh, there. Oh, see there. how creative he's getting now. Yeah, let's put some there. We could put some gypsy in, keep it some. <laughs> what about some fair lights? Let's put some fair lights in. <laughs> I think we're going to have to use a big glass for this big fella. <laughs> I'm scared in case the cone's going to snap. It feels really <laughs> heavy. What about some. Can we put some glitter on it? I think it should be a bit sparkly. Yeah, right. Sparkly. So, should we go a bit mad? Right, let's get a bit sparkle. This one? Yeah. Yeah, or oh, not that one. Uh, this one? Yeah. Is that one? I sell all these, yeah. Let's do that nice silver one. Oh, that one. Oh, that nice silver one's lovely. Oh, these pumps are amazing. We need to put these on the wish list afterwards. What's wish list? Oh, are we ready yeah. to yeah. put the kitchen and glitter? Here we go. Oh, look. <laughs> look. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we might today, we need a bit of that. I think we should be in math, it's like a, it's a, corn, a cornetto song. Come on over here, all three, tongues out. Mmm, smells good. Go on, go on, let's go. Don't go. you dare, I'm scared of it, showing it in my face. Go do it again. No. <laughs> so what do you think? It's just a different idea. I probably wouldn't advise you eat one of those to yourself, <laughs> okay? Let's just see what it looks like. Can oh, you're there? risking it now, oh, aren't you? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, that you're risking it now. now. Look. Look at that. It is just stunning now. Absolutely beautiful. It's lovely. It's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to put this one in this vase right. here. I just don't think. So, the cones that we're using, we bought over here in Spain. Maria negotiated a deal, and the woman came out with these massive things. Did you see it falling over there? Do you think it'll go in there? Oh! I think it may actually snap in half, but I thought it was alright actually. Let's put these up, yeah. them down. So, right, yeah. I'm going to go back over there. Yeah, just, um, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I think I did well. I think you did well. I think you did well. Don't you? Don't be giving him a big round of applause. So I'm going to play over there and just do some other little things just to finish off the other two, and uh, we'll get you to clean up, Paul. I'm doing the clean up. So are you enjoying the live tonight? Good fun. Yeah. Sorry, Kate Blues guys, but you know it's our night tonight. (laughs) (laughs) We only invited you. (laughs) So let's get everything cleared up. There we go. So those are the genuine Russian pipe and tips, nifty nozzles. I'm going to go over there and play with another one called Sunflower, see what that looks like, and I'll show you afterwards. So you get back on your... Get back on the drag, uh, not dragon, that. Because I've been called it a dragon, dragon all day. All day. It's dino, dino. Maria, can I give that for out there? Thank you. Good, right. Yeah. Alrighty. So How are we doing, David? How are we doing? Yeah. Oh, we're still on. Are we still on? Oh, that's good. Can I just move these down a little bit more, just in case? There we are. Good. Right. Okay, so, uh, so we're going to really just repeat the same process again on the other side uh, for the, the head or the neck. So a little bit of glue on there. I think this time we want it to be not as chunky at this part. We want it to be a little bit thinner going up uh, for the head. So I uh, just soften that up. Now once we get the, the head on, or the neck on, we're going to leave the head and go straight on to doing the, the board. Because we need to ice the board. I never like to see a silver board. I like it always to be iced. If you have an ice board, you can charge at least an extra five pounds. So you always should <laughs> ice the board. Okay, there we go. So I'm not going to really talk about what I'm doing, we'll just, uh, or, or do, go into too much detail, because you already know how to do it. So there we go, down there. I'm just going to open that up. See, I got a little bit excited with the knife that time, and I maybe cut a little bit too far in, but we're going to risk it anyway. Okay, so up and down. There we go. And as I say, I don't want to do too much um, of the blend, so I'm just going to literally just give it a tiny pinch at the bottom there and not make it too big. Right, okay, lift this up. That's the other noise. Do you hear him? I always do that noise. <laughs> that, that comes part and parcel of it, is it? Is that part and parcel of the course? Go on, tell us how you do it. <laughs> this noise. <laughs> <laughs> now what you've got to think about here with the, the neck is we want to as if it's kind of stretching and looking back on itself so if you've got the join you want the join almost to spin round as it comes round because we're going to actually put a little chest on there so we want to make sure when we put the chest on you're actually hiding that okay so you can see there like that okay and then of course blend as much as you can just to get that looking good which we're not going to worry about tonight because it's just way too too boring. So, um, but we'll just, again, we'll just do a little bit of blending at the front just because it's obviously looks a little bit nicer. So I'm using the paintbrush just to extend that out a little bit. There we go. And then just get your, your wee tool and just try and blend that. And I'm going to try to make it softer there and then rub round. Hopefully the, it's going tacky, which it is. Yep. And then back on, blend, blend, blend. And obviously I'm doing this stupidly fast. So you've been doing it in slow motion. Like so. Okay, so there we are. Jolly good. Right, so once we've done that, I'm going to pop that out of the way. Sorry, Maria. Yeah. And then we're going to get some green and sugar paste. This is from making, this is actually green that we had from making snakes uh, on the, the, the jungle cake the other day there. The other day, is that yesterday or today? Is it today? It's <laughs> so merged into one. Okay, so just a little bit of powder. I feel like I want to put this on my head just to cool me down <laughs> and then roll this down. So when the, the students uh, were coming to class yesterday morning, they were uh, just was thinking snake. They actually passed a snake on yeah. the road to come here. Did you, did you see it as well? I didn't see it. Oh, no, I was right. just sat talking to you in the garden. Yeah, it was, this, it was, it was about a metre long or so, just, just yeah. almost a metre <laughs> yeah. long. It had really nice stripes on it, it had really nice markings on it. I need to get them to send it to me, the picture, so I can work out what snake it was. It definitely wasn't a grass. That's funny, they came in and said, we've just seen a python. <laughs> it wasn't a python. No. <laughs> Some people don't realise we actually do have snakes, and, big snakes and spiders here. Okay, so uh, so to, to ice the board, what we want to do is just cut uh, in half. Okay, and then bring the sugar paste over to the the board and just lay on and up there like that. Okay, so once you've got that on there and up like that, 
just cut where the, the rods are and then just push down and you can see here we just cover around and under like that, nice and easy. And then I can just cut the excess off and that's just got the halfway halfway point done. And then you just repeat the same process. Did I put water on there? I don't think I did. So I just put a little bit of water on that side. It doesn't matter. It's not going anywhere. It's just for us to eat later on. Okay, and then again up there, same thing. Just cut next to the threaded rod and then bring that round and down. Now you can see here we've got a little bit of the excess sugar paste, so I just cut over the top and just pull that away. Now, if we had the uh, the nozzle, the grass nozzle, we could have actually painted some buttercream. We could, we could actually have brought some of your your flavored buttercreams onto that food. That'd be quite cool. But Carol that made me do it, so I'm so glad we're just going for the sugar, the, 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 the grass. So I'm squishing down. Obviously. One would want to take a long time doing this, so not just patting it down and yeah. doing it professionally. Okay, so I'm just getting the, the effect there. Okay, so that looks nice. And then just go round and take off the excess sugar paste. Now, do you know, we've been getting a lot of uh, emails recently, people asking what sugar paste they use fondant. So, sugar paste and fondant is the same thing. It's just that sometimes in, uh, in the UK, fondant is also used for dipping donuts and French fancies. It's a softer sugar. It's a sh softer sugar that you actually put in a bain marie or in the microwave with some water and you dip it. So it's also called, called fondant. Um, so just just so you don't get confused, okay? Okay. So that's the board. Now again, for the OCD ones, if you do want to try and get rid of those little joints, you can get your little acetate smoother out and just give it a little smooth, just to fix up. But I'm not going to bother. I'm going to try and switch that OCD off there just now. Okay, so that's the, the board iced, so I'm going to give my hands a quick wash and then what we're going to do is we're going to, going to very, very quickly uh, we're going to pop the legs on underneath the, the dinosaur. So, um, just... so Linda Miles asks, can you steam the cake when it's finished to get rid of the watermarks? I never talked about putting a glaze yeah. on it earlier. That's right, you can steam it, yeah. yeah. So, uh, so I don't normally use this, this steamer because uh, sometimes the steamer just goes back to dry again uh, yeah. but it cleans it all off and it get, gets rid of any ice and sugar marks and absolutely go for it. Okay, so what I want to do now is uh, I want to roll out a sausage for the legs and we're going to do the exact same technique as what we did for the, the rest. We're going to cut a little slit and just pop the, the legs on. So I'm just going to throw that on the floor just because it's our kitchen and we can do what we want. <laughs> <laughs> now I do want quite chunky little legs so we're going to go quite chunky. Now I'm going to use the blade to measure so I get down low and it's exactly the length of the blade, so that was a bit of luck. So on there, and cut. Okay, and cut. Now that first one looks a little bit on the chunky side, so I'm gonna cut another one. There we go, so that's good. So there we go, easy peasy. And all we want to do is then just cut open, and like that. Okay, so do that with all four. That, is that about halfway down? Halfway, halfway yeah. down. We don't have to worry about the whole gravity thing with this one because it's not going to, it's not going to get pulled. So um, there we go. Now for the OCD ones, they might really struggle with this because you do see the join a little bit. If that really freaks you out, uh, just uh, wrap some sugar paste around. It's a little bit thinner. It's a little bit easier to blend sometimes if you do it that way. All right, so and then a little bit of uh, water inside, like so. And I'm going to have to go down to my, my knees for this onto this lovely clean floor below me. <laughs> it's got ganache and buttercream and, <laughs> and everything else on it. So I, I should have brought my turntable actually. Okay, so just pop that on underneath there, like that, and then I just want to pinch that closed like so. Now, I'm going to just have the join slightly to the back, and I'm not going to blend it because it's just going to be ridiculously boring. So we're just going to just push that on. You can see there at the back how, how ugly that looks, but a wee bit of work, some, some hot water, go up and down your finger or your dressing tool and you can blend that away, okay? So we're round to this side and then just do the same. Oh, this one's been squashed, I wonder who that was. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> is that why she went in the Is that why she went in the cupboard? <laughs> Marie is horrified. I can't believe Sabot what she's done. She sabotaged my, my thing as well. <laughs> No, nope, get back in the cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> and this one's not getting water on it. So I've sab sabotaged one myself. Okay, so around there. So let's try and get that on. 
quits. So. Try and get the nice quits to the front. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I'm the, trying For the one minute video. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Good. So once you've got on there, you can go up and down with your fingers, really got them down. You can see I've got some green on there, so I'll just get my, my blade and just trim that off and blend it. But you can look from that angle and it looks, it looks fine. You can't see the little bits. Now, if you want to just make it a little bit, a little bit of foot at the bottom, if you just get your finger and just press down and just create, stretch it forward, you don't have to actually add any more sugar paste on. You see that? Yeah, it's just shaping it. Just shaping it and just pulling that sugar paste down. It's dry, the sugar paste is starting to dry, so you need to work quite fast. You can see it coming down and then the same over here. Okay. That's fine. And then the same here. Stretch it down. And then once we get down there, we're going to get one of our little tools and we're just going to put a, little, a few little nails on there. That's all right. Okay, so just get your little ball tool and I'm just going to go one, two, three. One, two, three. And of course, we could get some sugar paste and then just pop some sugar paste in there uh, just to make it highlight. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. So there we go. So that's just got. That's the whole thing iced now, isn't it? So, so of course, the good thing about that is uh, we've now hidden the structure. Now, of course, if you were doing this in your own time, then you can blend it all and make it all beautiful. It just looks a little bit rough and ready just now. So, but that's the joy of doing live. So, will we keep going, or do we we'll do something else? Well, just, no, just, just keep on going. Just keep on going. Keep going. going. Now, it's all yours. now, if you guys could, be, oh, the ribbons are all being hidden. Is there any ribbons lying around anywhere? Did I rub it over there? No, Did you have the green one out before? Oh, I thought I saw it. Oh, Laura put it away. I did. Oh, right. Well, that's fine. Can we pull the camera back a bit? It's in the top drawer, but I don't think you can move all that, can you? Because the camera's switched on. If Laura can pull that back, I can get it. Can you do that when the camera's switched on? All right. That's fine. Right. Okay, so while they're getting that, I'm going to be pretty thick as well. I've got the pretty thick. I'm just going to cut. That's great. Thank you very much. And I started getting a bit twitchy if I couldn't get my ribbon on. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, so I'll just quickly get that ribbon on, that made me feel better. All the way round. I think this one can go in the bin after this because it's just about finished. Okay, that's lovely job, boy. Actually, I think maybe it has finished, is it? Right, so, okay, and then just get this green ribbon. Now, if it would be a hot pink ribbon, that would be nice to get the hot yes, pink ribbon. Yes, of course. Now, do you have a ribbon with your branding on it? No. That would be good, wouldn't it? So yeah. you think well, the think about that, we? There you go, look at that. See, I never thought of that. That's a great shot of your face there, Maria. <laughs> well, that's sort of, well, that's a good idea. <laughs> I think that would be good. All the cakes could out with your logo on it. <laughs> we don't actually make cakes for anyone. We just show them. Yeah. I know, but I mean, as in your cakes, as in your buttercream. Yeah, your, nice. yeah, yeah. yeah. And so just, just very quickly, um, we've had a couple of people who may not have watched from the beginning so unfortunately we can't just keep recapping because we do obviously want to fit as much as we can in and um, so elizabeth frost we've already covered about um making it food safe and edible because we've actually made the structure itself is actually protected so it's been made food safe because it's got foil and ganache on it so it's not actually the foil and the board and the, the metal structure isn't actually touching the cake at all and um, so we, we have covered that at the start when we um, made the structure, and Paul showed you how to make the structure. And um, Paulie, um, again, about covering the board under the belly. So Paul did cover that. And um, when you can make sort of a rounded belly, for example, if you add some more ganache or add crispy treats. Again, when we finish, the whole Facebook Live will be pinned to the top of the Facebook page. So it would be worth just having a recap so all those sort of little hints and tips are covered as we go along. Um, so just to let you know, you know, we have tried to cover as much as possible in every aspect of it. Um, and like I say, just because we want to cover as much as we can in the live, it's quite difficult for us to keep going backwards and forwards. So just watch it on catch up when you've got a chance. <laughs> You're so good, so professional. She's okay. great, isn't she? <laughs> I feel really mean saying I'm sorry we can't cover all the questions, but we no, literally no. could get here all night. Yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, Paul's got to do this demo in super speed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you see the little hole there, so I don't lose the hole. I'm going to put a little Shumria. bit of sugar paste, sit it on Shumria. there. Oh, sorry, a little bit of sugar paste underneath the hole. So, so it doesn't move. I put some, uh, I put some uh, flora, but normally tre uh, Trex or Crisco because I ran out. Okay, so just a bit of fat. And it, so rather than put it on the ball, you put it on the sugar paste, just over the top, 
and then we're just going down like this, around there, and you're just icing it like a cake. Okay, I've got it on quite thick because I want the head to be a little bit on the bigger side. So we want to And I'm going round what's that about a centimetre all the way around. Okay, and then we just lift that up, and you can see there, take that away, we definitely know the ball was in the right place. Okay, and just bring that around. I'm going to keep that wee bit free there, get my scissors, cut that and just give that a little blend. Look at that. Easy, Super. easy. Okay, there we go. That's perfect. And we can see that the hole is. I'm going to even just cut that away just so I don't lose with the entry that is there. And then just give it a little groove to smooth it off. Now it'll stretch the sugar paste, but at least I know where it is. So you can see it's almost gone there and I just bring it back. But look how nice and smooth that is. Super easy. Super. Okay. Right, and then we just want to pop the, the head on. And there, that's fine. And so we just get this little head stick on there. There we go. Good. Right, so what I want to do is just make that, just leave that for a couple of seconds just to firm up, just, to, just so it doesn't keep on moving. And while that's on there, we're just going to do a little bit of a cover up job. So remember I was saying the drawing at the front doesn't look very nice. So what I'm going to do, because marbling is just so in fashion just now, we're going to give a marbled chest. All right? Are you so, copying my design ball? Or is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, yes, that's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> my inspiration, my creativity that you, came to me over the weekend. You've, 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 you've got to me. <laughs> you've affected me. That's what I'm like inside I've affected now. affected David. He disappeared <laughs> the whole weekend. I never saw him. <laughs> he popped in, he went, hi, bye. <laughs> Staying well away from the chaos. <laughs> 100%. He went down to the pub thinking we were going to join in and never got there. Yeah. I took the girls there today. Black horse. Yeah. <laughs> down to the black horse. Right, okay, so, so, so we can cover up. That's quite a nice marble. Look at that. So we can cover up the, the bit going down there. So just get a little bit of glue. I keep saying glue, but you know I'm just talking, it's just water. Down there, and it means we can hide all this ugly join. Now, if I just cut a thin strip, that kind of tapers out at the bottom. How long is that? One, two. So as long as it's too nice, which it is, and we go down here and I'm making it slightly bigger, slightly bigger, and really tapering it out at the end, like that. Okay, there we go. So something like that. I'm going to just cut around there. And I just want to pick, let's just see, over there like that, and just pop, pop it on. There we go. And then because I've put that water on there already, can literally just stretch that up and bring it around and then underneath there like that. Cut it underneath. Okay, so there we go. And then just blend that down and just try and smooth it on and then that just hides. Look at that, made to measure. Fantastic. Okay, so just hides that join like so. And something that uh, that's when you're really good cake designer, when you can cover up your mistakes. Or well, not your mistakes, just all the cracks and the because you can't look at a flower on there, can you? To, to <laughs> it. So, so we put that little chest on there uh, and bring that down there. And then to finish that off, which would be quite nice, is just to put some lines just to uh, add to the effect. There we go, up there. Right, so there we go. Now I would do the same on the back, as if it's been underneath and it's gone up and round there so you can hide that as well. So that means we don't have to actually blend that at all, we can just hide it with that. So how are we getting on? Is that looking, is it, we're getting there, isn't it? Yeah, it's looking good. Yeah. Look at Maria's concentration, look. <laughs> 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 I was own that, Maria. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just roll a, a little sausage. Okay, and then what we're going to do is just put a couple of little, little spots, it needs a little, few little spots on there. Okay, so there we go. So just get a little bit of uh, water, and um, I'm going to be really messy with the water because it's getting glazed, isn't it? So it doesn't matter. There we go. That's right, and just a couple little balls. Now, if you were um, super um, confident, if you're just starting out, this this cake is beginner. It's like beginner stroke going up to the next level. Okay, so so if you're beginner, just give it a shot. Now I've just filmed a, a new tutorial. We're filming it today, just like we didn't have anything else to do, and we actually filmed the fam, all the family. So it was the the mum, dad, the grandparents, and the kids. Uh, so of course, how cute would it be? Little little boy sat on top there, just riding riding on the little dragon yeah. dinosaur would look really cute. 
Um, so you could do one like, like a little knight, couldn't you? As if it's, as if it's like trying to tame the, the dinosaur. Um, or if you want to make it into a dragon, it's very, very easy. Because all you have to do is put some spikes down there and some wings yeah. and actually got a dragon. So, uh, okay, so I think that looks enough little spots on there, just adds a little bit of character. There we go. And of course you could put some little spots there, maybe some little spots on the, on the cheeks. Right, so let's just get this little thing finished. So, there we go. Right, so uh, I just want to put a nice big smile. So I'll just get that break in. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so just drawing a smile around there. Now just watch, because I've pressed a little bit on the hard side, and what happens is the white, the, oh sorry, the white from the posti can come through, so just be careful. And a little dimple. And uh, hello, <laughs> and a little dimple around that way like that. Now I think for the eyes it might be quite nice just to make them bulge a little bit so we can actually see them because it's a little on the flat side. So uh, a little ball into a sausage, cut that in half. Now when you cut it in half you've got a flat side. So we actually want to use that flat side. And we're going to use that to place it on there and then just push down. It looks like, it looks like a pink Kermit the Frog actually. Yeah. Are we okay. in your way David? Yeah, I'm just trying to get around on. Well, I can do this. I can't, I can't use this camera. Um, and then you've got David's head. Is that better? Uh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. All you have to do was ask. Yeah, <laughs> I could see yeah, him looking at all three cameras thinking, oh my god, which one? <laughs> right. So, a little bit of white for the, the eyes. Looks so good, doesn't it? What do you think, everybody? We're getting there, we're getting there. So, uh, and then we could do with little nostrils as well. And I think he needs a few pink, a purple freckles on there as well, doesn't he? Oh, a few purple yeah. freckles. Just to finish him off. So let's give him big bulging eyes. There we go. There we go, there we are, good. And let's get these wee nostrils on. There we are, good. And then we're just gonna, we'll just get a little bit black. A wee bit smaller, a wee tiny bit like that, into a sausage, cut down, there we go. And let's just do them, I think we'll do them as if he's looking over at David. <laughs> oh, my David growls at him. <laughs> can, you, can you see me? Can you see me now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, Maria. Poor Maria and David have got to try and film everything. Laura's not doing too bad where you are, are you? You coping, just Laura? About. Everything, yeah. <laughs> you can feel you can feel the heavy breathing of three people in this room again. <laughs> oh, say <laughs> so. <laughs> no, no, no. That's what it's like. I think we're gonna to have to get a bigger studio, David. That's what it is. No. We're gonna to have to. Oh, sorry, mate. We're gonna to have to move again, aren't we? No, you're gonna to have to move to that side. That's that's actually how it was supposed to be. Yeah. And then you literally, it literally no. two days before the builder started, we decided to change it here just so we could get a nice window in. <laughs> <laughs> it was more important to get a big window that we've always got closed. <laughs> okay, so let's get that right there. There we go. That's good. Right. Now, do you know one last little thing? I'll just, I keep on saying that. I think it needs a little purple eyebrows or something like that, doesn't it? Just at the top there. Yeah. Just to finish it off. So, a little uh, tapered sausage. Cut that in half. Someone's just said my lashes. Some lashes. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we are. And then we could do a little uh, lines. My hands are going to get all sticky here. Yeah. There we are. And then we can do it's all the finishing bits that really finish it off, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. He has got a slight pink camera the frog feel about him, but never mind. And then, so to finish off, we want to get a little bit of a spray and give them a wee spray. Yeah, we give them a off. The glaze in here. Yeah, it's fine. It's, it's, it's not the real kitchen. It's the it's kitchen. <laughs> yeah. She's freaked out. <laughs> Very loud. <laughs> How much would you charge for that one, Paul? How much would you charge for this one? Oh, about 300 probably. No, I'm not sure. <laughs> no. Um, Don't be spraying in my way. Uh, let's just see. I'll put it over here. Yeah. There we go. So a little glaze. Just to make all shiny. Now what I like to do is the glaze, you can see it in the motorbike, see how shiny the, yeah. the motorbike is? That's probably got like six layers of this wow. one. So I put it on, I let it, I let it firm up, I dry out and I put some more on it. You can see how nice and shiny it looks. Yeah. We, have, um, we have two, two glazes, one in the spray tin 
and one that you can actually brush on, oh, like which is better for me for my breathing. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. That's, that's right. Yeah. You're a rebel. Um, so, we first time for ventilating yesterday over the airbrushing. <laughs> so there we go. So we've got Fantastic. A, 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 a yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. I feel like I want to put your branding on it as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a relationship with Sugar and Crumbs. Yeah. Do you want to bring them over? Yeah. yeah. So what do we think, guys? There we go. Brilliant. Has it been a great night? Have you enjoyed it? Is it worth us coming to Malaga? What do you think? Definitely. Yeah? Get those thumbs up. Do you think we should come again? <laughs> yes. Party. You do know if they say we're coming again, you've got no choice but, in the matter. But, but the next thing you come, you're, we're not doing a class. <laughs> no, <laughs> we're just we're filming. Not. We're just filming. <laughs> we're not. So I hope you've enjoyed tonight. It's been a great night. So the reason that we're here is, is that Sugar and Crumbs and Cake Flicks are working together. We do do tutorials, two different types of tutorials. Paul is is going to show you the most amazing things that he can make. He's been doing tutorials now for eight years. They have just launched this weekend their free channel. So that's all their tutorials from when they started going up to a few years ago. They've always said they would never destroy or get rid of a tutorial. So they're now letting you guys have them for free. And then they've got other tutorials where you can join. There's two memberships, David. Uh, premium and Pro. Premium and Pro, I am a member as well. Okay, so those, and they have started a sale. Just tonight, yeah. Just tonight, yeah. I have to keep reminding them. Uh, up to 50% <laughs> off, there, I know now. <laughs> yeah. So up to 50% off, you can, if you want a couple of days to have a think about it, there's a seven day trial, but I don't think the offer is on for seven days. So just watch it for a day or two and then grab it while you can. It's an annual membership, isn't it? That's it. That's yeah. Right. Absolutely. Um, we're really very pleased that David and Paul opened their home up to us again and to Laura and Maria and for hosting us. Um, that's because they won't come to support Tasha. <laughs> but we're going to do our best to get them there. And Paul has been great fun in allowing us to use our flavoured sugars and using the nozzles. We were here last time, we did um, a hedgehog from the Little Beach Cakery, wasn't it? Yes. I think it was there, so we did that. Um, this was an idea that somebody said to me, would I do? I think it's great. So um, everything is in stock. Now, because I've been here for two days, I haven't updated the wish list. So don't panic. Do your shopping in the morning or later tonight. <laughs> Give me a chance to get back to my hotel room and add up the stock. Um, and anything I've missed, I'll put in. But these are great fun. Um, I probably wouldn't eat a full one to myself, but I would take the ball out, break it down, chop it in half. It's great. While um, Paul was carrying on, I just did one with the leaf tip, just something a bit different. Um, and Paul did a very good job of the giant one. Yeah, don't lift it out there. No, <laughs> don't don't it out there. Yeah. doesn't he? <laughs> He's massive. So I hope you enjoyed that tonight. And um, we've got a little draw. So last week we had the Bacon Nana in and Rob Allen again in. And they did chocolate eclairs and uh, the giant cupcake. So if you participated, your tickets went in. Tracy Stevens has said she doesn't want her ticket to go in because she won last week. So she said she would feel awful if she was pulled out again. I think she should have gone in, but she said no. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's yeah, really nice, nice that, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Give somebody else a go. So you're going to pull the winner ticket for. Oh my goodness. Give it a shaky, shaky. Oh, the and it's 10 bags of ice and sugar of your choice. All right. Okay. Well, let me read that because I'll be there wrong. <laughs> Hayley Davies. That's it. At Hayley Davies. At Hayley Davies. Does that say Hayley Davies? I think it is. I think it does. Yeah. So, do you think it says that Hayley Davies? Hayley Davies. Yes, yeah. we've got Hayley it. We all agree. Hayley Davies. Yeah. Well I don't know if you can see. Well done. Happy You've won well. 10 bags of flavoured ice and sugar. We all agree that that is. So, um, next week is Bank Holiday Monday. It's Easter next weekend, isn't it? Wow. So, we're not here. Are you going to do anything for Easter? Yeah, we're doing anything for Easter. Um, well, yes. Yeah. Oh, my nephew's here. We're, we're going house hunting. Yes. It says that's my favourite hobby. Not for me, though, for my nephew. Oh. <laughs> he's going to be the new filming guy. Yeah, he's coming over to the filming. He's getting the sack. Yeah, David's getting the sack. <laughs> and Matthew's coming to some filming. So it's my nephew. He's, he does the, the video editing for the last couple of years. 
and he's moving, he's moving into the same town. Yeah, so exactly. He's got to learn to get up at nine o'clock in the morning. Yeah. The other thing I, I wanted to say was, uh, if anyone fans is coming over to Spain for some courses, we also do private classes. So if anyone come, fans comes over, even just a couple of your friends, you want to come over and just get in touch, and we could actually design bespoke classes where you can come over and do your own class. And that's where this one was actually designed from a lady that came over from France. So if you fancy coming over from some friends, maximum four, uh, we do private classes as well in the sunshine. And I will tell you that Paul is an excellent host. Oh, thank you. I'll Paul. Give, I'll give you that money later on. Yeah. <laughs> Paul, Paul does everything. The class. <laughs> David reminds me of my John. He pops in, he says hi, and he says hi. <laughs> he, made, he made the egg one day for us. Yeah, so that was really, good. Okay, he made the egg. <laughs> so anyhow, so um, it's well worth coming on his courses. I will certainly be back here again. And I do know the ladies I was with this week did say that they would be back here again. As well, in the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen, we do our own courses. We've got Valerie and Christina with us in September. Natalie Porter with us in June and um, September as well. Georgie Gopold in September. We've got Zoe Fancy Cakes here in June. We've got a whole lineup of people in our kitchen, and maybe we'll get the handsome man in. <laughs> eh? The one with the lovely pink cheeks. What do you think? They're getting eh? pinker and pinker. Yeah, yeah. Let us know, and then we'll see what we can do. See if we can talk him into it. Can't have it always. So we want to say a big thank you to you guys. Um, what more can I say? Thank you very much for joining us. Is there anything I've missed out on, Laura? Do you want to say anything? Yep, just a fantastic audience, lots of positive comments and thank yous. Oh, there it's we been go. a great evening. People have thoroughly enjoyed it. No, it's been great fun and thanks for coming over again. Yeah. It, it, it's good fun, isn't it? We have a little yeah. banter, don't we? Yeah. Thank you for opening and, our kitchen up. And sometimes we actually make a cake as well. We're not <laughs> yeah. bad. No, we need to put in the strawberries and have a cup of tea in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the ganache out. <laughs> Let's open a bottle of ganache. <laughs> or is that <like> grenache? <laughs> so, thank you, everybody. So, there's no live next Monday from us. It's Bank Holiday Monday. Go and enjoy yourself. I hope the weather stays nice. We do have Verena in on the 29th of April. She's coming over from Ireland and she is going to show you how to make a cake box. So she is going to show you how to use her fabulous smoothers and she's going to, I think she's going to make a square, well, she's going to make one of them a square or a round cake box like a present and I'm sure you're going to absolutely love it. So that's April the 29th. We are back. So go and enjoy Easter. See you later. Bye. Bye.